It's time for a high five. My name's Nate Manahan. I'm here in Indianapolis, Indiana, the home of the Mecca of the great March Madness. We we hosted a lot of games last year. Two years ago, we hosted every game. But March Madness is more than just a basketball tournament that starts out here in just a little over a week. In fact, exactly a week. It is the madness of March. And that means where Paprotech goes a little bit crazy giving extra bonuses. Let me bring up the men, the men, legends here from the left side of the screen, live from Glenwood Springs, Colorado, where I'm going to guess, you know, the snow's going to start to decrease and, the, you know, start seeing a little bit of green here in the next several weeks. How's life, Mr. Danny Shard? It's good. The madness is real. It's uh, starting to feel like spring, although I feel like I haven't seen outside in a while because, uh, We've been busy here at Paper Attack on the phones all day, every day with you guys. It's been a, a lot of fun, and it's what we expect this time of year. It's exciting for us. Well, there's never a, be- a, be- a more better time to be in getting jumping into the payments game, to be putting the pedal to the metal, to be going that grind to make sure you get the most out of March. And Brian Linky, you're talking to a lot of partners, both new and old, at the Paper Attack family. Uh, what are they saying and what are they doing with these promotions that we call the madness of March? Well, every, everybody, I, it's a good, great, great question. Um, everybody I talk to, Nate, is, um, you, know, you know, we always look for, for something, you know, to get us going. You know, Sunday afternoons, going into Sunday evening, trying to get your, your plan together for the week, right? And thinking about, like, you know, how you're going to attack and, 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 you know, you're looking at your calendar, seeing what kind of meetings you have, you know, what kind of calls you have. At least that's what I do. Um, I think what March Madness is, has done and is doing, um, it gives people the opportunity to kind of like, okay, you know, this is it. This is the thing that's going to get me going, right? This is this is how I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stash some money away. I'm gonna get myself going. I'm gonna start writing some deals. I'm gonna take advantage of this ridiculous opportunity that that Paper Tech is giving me, right? And um, I just think it's uh, I just think it's another way to uh, to kind of just. Just reinvent yourself. I like that. It's what, you know, it's what I got there. Can't hear you, Nate. See, I took a cough. Thank you. See, that's, <laughs> we're recording this live. I'm trying not to ever edit this. I uh, took a cough. Closed off the mic so you didn't hear me cough, but then forgot to turn the mic back on. Look how that works. Um, it's all about motivation, and you're totally right, Ryan. Those are – man, I mean – if, if you, this doesn't motivate you and just kind of get you going, and sometimes, you know, during these winter months, we're so ready, at least for those of us who live, I, I know for those of now who reside in Florida, like Mr. Brian Linky, you know, uh, gradually you're going to forget the seasons exist. But for those of us, you know, I'm ready, you know, it's, I'm looking out the window right now. I know it's, I, I don't know exactly, 55 degrees, but the sun is coming in, and I, I, I notice there are daffodils that have popped up in the neighborhood, and the grass probably will be, need to be mowed in the next three weeks. And I'm just ready. And that makes us move and motivate now for let's get these deals going. Let's get some of these merchants. Let's really make a jump start to the whole 2023. And let's let's, you know, meet six months of goals by March. Let's just let's just do it. Let's just go go all in. Just get get the grind going, get working. And uh, that's what I think we're doing now. We're going to switch a little bit of gears. We'll talk madness in March just a little bit at the end. Uh, but a couple of weeks ago, uh, we always see it. This is what, you know, we have these, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, pu- we'll call them the uh, sad trombone. Every couple mo- years, every couple months, somebody puts out a letter. Usually it's Visa. It goes out to either the processors or the banks, and then somebody gets a hold of a copy or somebody copies and pastes it. It shows up in the Facebook groups. And some of these letters are, it's been from EMV in my years to all kinds of things. But what happens is we all hear this like craziness and people get stressed. And um, a couple of weeks ago, we saw that, you know, the Facebook groups and everybody that a lot of you are involved in all jumped up in arms. What's going to happen? The first one I saw was a uh, branded thesis. We've got this letter from Visa. This is what it says. And it was talking a little specifically about surcharging and some of their program changes. But Danny, when you see these letters, you've been in this industry for, you know, you're, you're really starting to nose up on 20 years. Um what do you feel like when you see these letters and specifically what did you see in this letter that came out from visa what we should think about it yeah i think uh, in my my time in the industry i've learned not to, not to scare easily um, i think it's easy to do with any announcement where we see visa trying to uh, throw their weight around which granted they are the they are the big elephant in the room so to speak but um, you know when it comes to programs like this and the way they've been positioned properly you know, there's really, uh, there's really nothing to be concerned about, you know, in a large scale, these, 
these visa notifications, uh, the thing that I notice most is it's related to surcharging, right? And so there's a lot of merchants out there that are surcharging and continue to want to surcharge today. And they've really simplified that process. Um, you know, you don't have to go through the lengthy, I think it was, Nate, you probably know better, the 30-day hold or roughly yep. to get approved for surcharging. You have to submit all the information to Visa. You'd have to use their specific signage. It was a lengthy process. Um, what also made it somewhat dirty is that you weren't able to charge more um, on, I shouldn't say you weren't able to charge more than 4%, which that's pretty standard. Um, you weren't able to charge it on any any cards not processed as a credit. So it was only credit cards, right? And so if you took debit cards, processed as a credit or anything like that, those were also lumped in there. And so where merchants would do this in an effort to eliminate as much of their processing fees as they could, it was quite a process to get set up with it. And then the accounting of it on the back end of what they did collect and what they offset, kind of a nightmare um, when you really look at the nuts and bolts of it and how many of these merchants are accepting card types that really didn't fall into the category of being accepted for surcharging, you know, and introduced cash discount programs, which kind of flipped all of that on its head, used some of the foundations of it, but, uh, uh, but made it more easy for merchants to implement as well as merchants to cover up to hundred percent of their processing fees. And it's all about how it's presented to that customer and creating a good customer experience. That's both positive for the merchant and the consumer. Um, so whenever I see that letter, I see they've made it easier if you want to surcharge, but I also focus on surcharging and that's not what we do. And that's not what our edge program does. And that's not what the masses are really promoting and pushing out there. So really this letter is out of scope if you're doing these programs properly. Yeah. And I think what happens is a lot of times is we get these letters and we just, you know, for the most part, we just hear this because at the end of the day, it really shouldn't matter. Uh, we're, as our partners do, as we do here at Paper Tech, um, we're going to make sure that we have the best information, that we're setting you up to, be, to make sure that you are winning, that your merchants are processing, and they're not going to have any issues with any of the card brands or any of the issuing banks. That's why we do things like underwriting, why we do. And we're going to make sure that you're in the best hands. And you don't have to get so worried about how this is all going to come to an end. Visa is not going to suddenly decide that they're going to you know, cut off a million merchants allow it, not allowing them to process. But part of that is having confidence that who you're working with is going to make sure and navigate whatever may change because they, things can change and do change. We went through a major change just about six years ago with the EMV transition and that change went through. We made it all work. And at the end of the day, we're here standing and helping more and more merchants. And Brian, I think it's this, these letters make me think that's more important to not to know everything that's going on in the payments world. Though if you're that type of person, dive in, you can take deep dives, go get on Reddit, whatever you want to do. But it's most important to make sure you know who you're working with and trust who you're working with. And that's really how we want to set up. Right, Brian? Absolutely. Well, you know, and Dan, I can't believe you didn't say it, but rule number one, right? I mean, yeah, I don't pass. Right, don't <laughs> I left pass. that for you. You made the rules. It's yours. Okay. I mean, don't, don't pan, right? I mean, you, you know, everybody got the letter and it's like, what is this? I mean, you know, people here, you know, paper attack, we're getting emails back and forth. And, and, you know, once the dust settles a little bit and right, you have to, in, you, ha you have to put your trust in, in, in Danny Shard, myself, the, the, the rest of the team here at paper, Tech, Nate Manahan, the rest of the team at paper Tech, that, that we're going to do the right thing. Okay. We've been around now, um, you, you know, we're, we're kind of a veteran in the industry now, you know, uh, it's, it's hard for me to believe, but we're a veteran in the industry now. So, you know, trust us. Okay. We know what we're doing. We've got people, really smart people, you know, behind the scenes as well, um, that, that, that won't jeopardize, uh, anything, uh, you know, for our business, which means for your business. So we're, 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 we're all in this together. I love it. And the fact is, if, if you're not making money, if your merchant's not processing dollars, none of us are making money. So we're going to do the best interest of all of that to happen. Anything, anything else you want to say? I, I just, this was just a quick, it felt like we need to jump in. Saw another post earlier today. Wanted to say a couple things. Anything that you else you want to say about this visa letter that came out? No, I, I, I mean, Dan, do you, I mean, do you have anything? I, no, I think, you know what, we're, we're playing by the rules. We're doing the right thing. Um, and no, I, I'm, I'm tired of hearing about it. If you only want to know the truth. <laughs> I, I kind of agree. I mean, you know, it, it's good to get that validation that uh, a lot of us need. You know, I've, I've talked to a lot of you about this 
um, you know, whether offline or in a group setting. And I think it's it's good to just kind of validate and reaffirm that the program that you're putting out there and what your merchants are set up with and what you're selling today, you know, is compliance and is something that you not need to worry about. Like Brian said, right, we've uh, we put a lot of effort into this and constantly evolving this program to ensure that we stay above that and we stay ahead of the game and keep you ahead of the game, whether it's the solutions that we're providing, the pricing structures that we've got in place, the signage that we're providing, you know, each state's different, right? So, I mean, there's there's things that have to be looked at there, but our goal is to make sure you're selling something that you can stand behind and that you can really build a solid portfolio on, and we're gonna continue to do that. And Nate, you brought something else up earlier offline. That's just another great reason why it's been coined Edge, right? This program has continued to evolve as uh, as we've gone through the last what six seven years now of offering this something like that so um and it's going to continue to right and these kind of these letters that we receive or that we hear about that come down the pipeline we heard of one but there was one last year nate about something like this if you're doing programs like this beware and you know it got the got the industry shaking right i can't remember exactly what it was but um, you know, if you're doing things the right way and promoting things as you should and explaining things properly, and most importantly, putting the right solutions in place for your merchants to do this effectively, you're not going to have a problem. So reach out to us with questions. But, uh, you know, like Brian, Brian wants to talk about helping you make money. And that's what gets us the most excited. So um, let's get past this. Let's help you get comfortable with it. And let's talk about how we can make you money here in March and beyond. I was thinking. I was thinking this right now, guys. We've been uh, doing. We start our original program. We've always used uh, a different name. Never called it cash discount or surcharging. We've always used it. We originally called it Salsa Prime for those who are the you know the older paper tech partners. You remember that we've been doing it for over you know pushing over six years now. The one thing that we've been doing for a year longer, and I remember we is. March Madness, because when we started out with March Madness, in order to offer the extra bonuses, we had to like you had to like we had a point system, and we had to help try to figure out how to get you into systems that were like hot sauce and some of the point of sale systems, and we couldn't just do straight terminals. We had to get kind of crazy to do it. Then Salter Prime, now our Edge program, came to be, and we were able to go crazy with March Madness to make the numbers. We used to have to have put caps. Now there's no caps. Last closing words as we close out today. Whoops, that, this is crickets. That's not what I wanted. That's the wrong button. We're going to go this a little bit in the background. What do you think Brian Linky, our partner, should do? 24 days left. What should they do to make the most of March? Get out of bed. I love that. <laughs> Get out of it. No, here's again. You have the opportunity, Paper Tech Nation, okay, to really start to, to stack away some cash, right? This this could be, you know, your your to catapult you, right? You know, you can't save any money. All of a sudden, now we're we're putting three hundred, we're putting five hundred, we're putting a thousand dollars on top of these deals. This is the way we can finally say, hey, you know what? I've got a little extra money in the bank at the end of the month, and you can start your your career today, this month. I love that. Danny Shard, what say you? Yeah, Mark, like I said, whenever we came on, it's uh, it really is the madness in March. Um, you know, it's great to see all of our partners taking advantage of it, and it's just going to keep getting better. It's the biggest promotion that we've ever done. We'll probably give away close to a quarter million dollars here this month. So take advantage of it. If you haven't gotten out of bed yet, get out of bed. Earn some extra money here in the month of March, and uh, and let us help you do it. We're here to help. Yeah, jump into it. Get into it. Now is the time to jump in. You can make an extra $6,000, $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 that you can invest in a vacation or you can invest it back into your business and a year from now be 10 times where you thought you were going to be because of the work you do in the next 24 days. We're here to help. We're here to come alongside you. We're here to give you the high five that we always do and say thank you for being part of the Paper Tech family and thanks for being part of Madness of March. We'll see you next time on the high five. High five, everybody. Get out of bed.